Yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's uh, session about Koshiki no Kata. I will try to do my best to explain all the technical details. Uh, my name is Wolfgang Dax Romswinkel, and I have the pleasure and the honor to lead this, uh, the session today. Two days ago on Tuesday, we already discussed the uh, theory and the history, briefly, not so in depth, but briefly, about Koshiki no Kata, and it's still online on the YouTube channel of. EJU. So please check it uh, if you're interested more about uh, history and backgrounds of uh, Koshiki no Kata. So today I brought to you three um, videos uh, that were recorded um, and uh, we will use them to uh, explain the details. So first of all, let's have a look about the start of Koshiki no Kata and like all Kata, it starts of course with the Reiho. This is quite a little bit different from uh, usual Reiho in uh, Judo because you have your legs feet a little bit apart, knee down, and this old fashioned style of Reiho is symbolizing that you're wearing heavy armor. After stepping forward, it takes two little steps and then big opening step. And that's the opening of Koshiki no Kata. And we can start with the first technique. The first technique is called Tai. And as I explained uh, on uh, Tuesday, uh, always two techniques are in pairs. So let's first have a look at Tai and Yumenochi. These are the first two techniques. And then I'm going to explain in details using another video. So this was Tai, the first technique, and now Yumenuchi, and you will see Yumenuchi begins exactly as Tai, but then it turns out to be a little bit different. And here we are. Okay, um, let's go into detail. This is a recording from uh, two years ago, Kodokan, with my partner, David McFall, who lives in Tokyo, and he's a member of the famous Kudenkai of Daigo Sensei. So, um, Uke approaches and uh, puts, sets, uh, sets his foot in front of Tori's left foot, grabs Tori's belt from behind and from the front with both hands, brings his foot on the, to the knee of um, Tori and swings the left leg around and tries to do uh, Koshinage, tries to attack with a hip throw. Okay. Tori reacts by stepping behind Uke, grabbing around uh, Uke's waist with his hand. This is very important that you have good control and good contact. Now, with a couple of steps, usually four or five steps are done, Tori pushes Uke to the rear, breaks the balance. One step, next step. It's always Tori who is leading and uh, pushing uh, Uke. And with each step, balance is a little bit more broken. You see that Uke is now uh, with broken balance to the rear. And from this position, Tori makes a final push and throws Uke. Then he uh, spreads out his left knee. And uh, this has a reason. 
I'm going to explain the reason. Um, so first, let's have a look at the um, hip throw. This is very, very important. Um, from the position you see in the first picture, um, Tori swings back his left foot and brings his hip in front of Uke's hip. This is important to bring it in front of Uke's hip. Yeah? And then Tori tries to uh, pull Uke onto his hip and throw with um, yeah, kind of Tsuri uh, it's a uh, It's a hip throw, just a normal hip throw. So uh, it's very important that uh, Tori keeps his balance. You see it on the pictures on the left bottom. Yeah. Um, you see that uh, the red line, which uh, symbolizes the, um, the axis of um, Tori, is leaning forward. And Tori is making a small step. And as you see here, As you see here, Tori's hip is in front of Uke's hip, and Uke is uh, grabbing around Tori's hip to control him. Here's the control. What we very often see is that um, Tori loses his balance by himself. So here in this situation, um, you see the you see the line, Uke is falling backward. He's already off balance and Tori hasn't done anything yet. And here you can clearly see that Tori's hip is not in front of Uke's hip. But to make a hip throw, of course, uh, Tori's hip must be in front of Uke's hip. Yeah? Um, then we see very often that um, Uke is reacting, making a big step and trying to walk behind uh, Tori. But this is not the, uh, the action how it should be. Yeah. Um, for the final throw, uh, for you to understand uh, why Uke spreads out, uh, Tori spreads out his left knee is in reality, he wants to throw um, Uke with the, uh, the spine uh, on his knee to break, to break his back. That's the intention um, of the throw. We uh, go back to uh, uh, to the to the other demonstration, and I show you again the key points. So swinging back, and you see that. Uh, The hip is moving to the front. This is important point. And Tori has to wait until Uke sets his foot on the, on the mat. So here you see the foot is already touching the mat. And then, then Tori starts. Many, many, many Tori start too early um, this would give Uke a chance to, uh, to escape. And what you see here is the importance of controlling the hip. And okay, we can make uh, some, some steps. It's a little bit faster now. And from here, there's another important point that uh, Tori blocks Uke's thigh. So if he doesn't block Uke's thigh, Uke can simply make a step backward with his uh, right foot. And uh, so uh, this way Uke could escape. So very, very close contact. Blocking the thigh is essential for a uh, successful throw. Yeah. And now we push to the shoulder and Tori should be on the knee before Uke falls. And of course, in reality, um, it was meant that Tori spreads out his, um, 
his knee before throwing to uh, throw Uke on his uh, on his spine. Yeah, that's uh, the uh, these, these are the main points um, of um, the uh, first technique tie, and then we can proceed to the second technique, which starts similar, but is a little bit different. So here we are. I must make it a little bit smaller so we can better see it. So this is exactly the same attack. Absolutely the same attack, but this time um, Tori fails to break Uke's balance. So Uke can recover. All the time Uke is recovering and um, Tori has failed to break the balance. Yeah. And Tori then decides to change his technique. Uh, he gives Uke a final push to force a reaction. So Uke steps back and now Uke is in a curved position. And from this position, Uke must recover and uh, go into straight position again. So this is the intention of Uke. So in this moment, Tori slides his left hand up. See the left hand is sliding up to the shoulder. And this way, um, Tori is mm, yeah, more or less helping Uke up. So he's pushing Uke forward. So this forces Uke um, to react. So Uke makes a step with, a, with his left foot. So please watch carefully. We are here is uh, Tori pushing. Here is Uke reacting to the push. You see the contact, push, reaction with stepping. Now it's uh, very important that uh, the feet are close together. Tori's right foot must be close to Uke's, uh, Tori's right foot must be close to Uke's right foot. Yes, of course. And now Tori turns around, he grabs from outside the uh, upper arm of Uke, turns around, and both are standing straight. And uh, what is also important, um, both are parallel to each other. So there is no space between them. This is very important for transmission of power. Now, both try to uh, break each other's balance, but Tori is lifting Uke a little bit, is succeeding a little bit, and then starts to make small steps backward. These small steps help to break the balance. Yeah, and finally, he manages to break balance and can throw Uke with uh, this technique called Vakare. Yeah. That's the idea of uh, Yuminochi. So these first two techniques are um, very essential to understand because uh, these actions uh, repeat several times in uh, Koshiki no Kata. Okay, after that, we have the next pair. It's Hirokuhi and Mizuguruma. And um, again, watch both in original speed. Here you see again the change of direction, exactly the same 
we did before in luminosity. Okay, so let's proceed with the other demonstration. And stop. So <laughs> you will see a little mistake. So uh, I must um, explain very carefully. Um, so Uke's attack is that he steps forward with his right foot crosses his arms and tries to grab yes, um, my weapons, which are supposed to be at my belt. So with hands crossed, and, uh, you will see that this is the mistake. With hands crossed, Tori pulls Uke for down and forward, forces Uke to a reaction and Tori uses this reaction to further push Uke forward, lift him up, controls him, breaks the balance to the rear, keeps control and throws Uke directly to the rear. So as I said, there was a mistake and I have to clarify this mistake. Um, here you see uh, the pictures of um, the, uh, the of Ryokuhi and here you can see that uh, Tori with his um, left hand from underneath grabs the wrist and with his right hand uh, grabs the elbow in Yahazu style. So here is the left hand and here is the right hand. So Uke, uh, Tori has his, um, his arms crossed. So uh, then, of course, Uke, uh, Tori pushes down and forward. And here you can see the left hand pushes to the side and the right hand lifts up. Why did I make this mistake? Surprise, surprise. I was thinking about this situation. This is demonstration of Koshiki no Kata uh, from uh, Jigoro Kano and um, Yamashita Yoshitsugu. And as you can see here, um, Kano made the same thing I did uh, in the demonstration of the other video. And exactly this was in my mind. So you, you think of everything, uh, but um, usually not uh, of what, um, yeah, you have many things in, in, in mind and uh, these are disturbing. And this moment, I remember very well, I uh, had this picture in mind. And so I did it the way Jigoro Kano did it. So maybe you can say, and uh, we can say, that it was not a mistake. Otherwise, we must say that Jigoro Kano made a mistake. And uh, yeah, it's just just kidding. Of course, it's uh, it's wrong. Um, again, I um, can show you the correct way of doing it in another uh, video. So here is the attack. Here you see the left hand is controlling the right wrist and then the right hand is uh, over the left hand behind the elbow and here is the push yeah and from there finally same technique throwing to the rear Okay, um, let's proceed with the other video um, and uh, how it, uh, for the next technique. Next technique is Mizu Guruma. Uh, 
Okay, the situation is the same as before. Same attack as before. But this time, Tori doesn't cross his hands, but takes a uh, normal grip, pulls Uke forward and down. So Uke makes a strong step to counter the attack. And then, of course, Uke tries to uh, uh, stand up again. So this is uh, Uke's uh, reaction. And Tori uses this reaction to push against Uke's uh, face. So um, maybe you can see it. Uh, Tori pushes Uke's forearm in front of uh, Uke's eyes. At the same time, Tori grabs with his left hand around Uke's hips. And now, with the twisting action and the steps to the rear, breaks Uke's balance. And then we have the same situation we previously had um, in uh, Yumi no Uchi. Here you can see that uh, the feet must be close together. Otherwise, we'll have too much distance after turning around. So, Tori tries to break balance to the rear. Uke responds forwards. Tori slides up. His hand pushes against the shoulder. Uke reacts, tries to keep balance. But Tori pushes a little bit more. So Uke tries to defend, but Tori takes the other grip, slides his foot, both standing side by side. And again, Tori makes small steps to break Uke's balance more and throws. Again, with the same technique, Wakare. Okay, yeah. Um, I will say something about the position of Tori after the throw um, when we explain one of the next techniques um, because they are not so uh, good to see um, in, in this video. The other video gives us a better angle to uh, to see everything. Okay, let's proceed to the next techniques. Uh, these are uh, Mizunagare and Hikiotoshi. Okay, so what uh, what happens here? So uh, Tori is approaching uh, Uke and tries to, to grab the um, the chest plate of the armor of Uke, and he has a dagger behind his uh, back. Here you can see he had um, uses the dagger dagger to stab Uke. So here he grabs then pulls Uke and stabs him. So what Uke has to do is simply moving away and taking grip on uh, Uke's hand and uh, making a little Hanzutsubasa. So he bends Uke's uh, wrist and from underneath, he pushes against the elbow. So uh, Tori cannot uh, bend his elbow. Then uh, Uke moves a little bit backward 
and creates space so he's far enough away so that uh, uh, Uke cannot uh, reach Uke's uh, body with a knife. So here's uh, the same picture from the Kurokan Sama course. This is uh, Daigo Sensei um, with his, uh, two of his students uh, demonstrating uh, this technique. Uh, so let's uh, watch it. So we just finished the previous technique and we approach each other. And now you see that uh, Uke is moving forward and trying to grab the chest plate. Tori leans back a little bit, moving back a little bit. And um, as Tori is moving back a little bit, uh, Uke leans a little bit forward uh, to uh, reach the, uh, the uh, armor to reach Tori. Tori grabs the hand and pushes the elbow as explained. When he uh, has gripped uh, Uke's arm, then Tori makes another little step, breaks balance. Uke tries to, to resist. This makes the body stiff. Then Tori can change the grip with his uh, left hand. Yeah, and push Uke at the shoulder to the side. To the side is very important because um, he, Uke cannot uh, defend uh, when being thrown to the side. You see over the side of the um, he's thrown. So this is Mizu Nagara. Um, the next technique um, Hikiyotoshi is a similar by principle. You see uh, that uh, Tori and Uke approach each other. And uh, yeah, Uke aims to take away Uke's uh, spot. Um, so Uke has to do something. And um, when uh, Tori reaches out uh, for uh, for this work. Then Uke steps back, as you see, and Tori leans a little bit more forward than usually intended and brings himself off balance. Until this point, uh, there was uh, no touching of Uke to, uh, against Tori. So Murata Sensei told uh, this, named this the no touch Kuzushi because uh, of the intention of Tori to, uh, to grab this, uh, this wall. And um, Uke, increasing the distance, Tori leans forward by himself. So let's, uh, let's watch it. So again, we have distance of um, about four, five, four, between four and five meters. And here, here comes the grip to the katana. Here comes the step back. And as you see, nothing is touched and Uke is off balance just by leaning more forward than expected. Tori makes a Tsugiyashi step and then grabs the hand and from this position and balance is already broken, it's easy to throw. Okay, let's proceed to uh, the next pair of techniques. 
which is Kora Ore and Uchi Kudati. Okay, again, uh, one important point, what's the intention? Um, Tori is attacking the point between uh, Uka's eyes. Uh, this is visible here, this point. Uh, Tori takes Uka's arm, tries to break balance um, of Uka, then grabs um, around Uka's uh, hips with his uh, left arm hand and arm and tries to throw uke with a koshinari. So here it is. This is the intention of Tori. At the same time, Tori um, attacks uke's elbow by pressing the arm and the elbow against his chest. So this is very uncomfortable for uke. So let's um, watch this situation in the other uh, video and I must make a little comment because it uh, looks maybe a little bit uh, strange for you. Um, this has another very good reason. So here we are. Tori attacks Uke. Point between the eyes. Uke is pulling forwards, Tori is defending, and then starts the attack with the hip throw, and Tori is blocking, pushing with his hip against um, uh, Uke's rear hip, and break balance to the rear. So this may look a little bit unusual, but um, the, uh, the situation was that in uh, those days, Daigo Sensei, uh, while teaching uh, Koshiki no Kata, uh, he realized that many people do not make any attempt to make a Koshinage. So for training purpose and to make it clear to, uh, that there has to be um, a Koshinage, um, he ordered his students to really break balance forward and then start the Koshinago. And from there, Tori breaks with his balance to the rear. One step, two step, break balance a little bit more and growing to the right rear corner and here again spreading out the knee to indicate that uh, the uh, intention uh, should be to break Hooker's back. Um, Uchikodaki is uh, almost uh, the same, Uchikodaki the next technique. It's uh, it's a little bit different to um, Koda Ore, so the attack is not against the point uh, between the eyes, but against the stomach. Uke pulls Tori forward and attacks with Koshinage. Tori takes grip on the belt and very close with his left hand on the, on the hip, then he stands up, breaks, put his balance to the rear, one step, two step, and again, controlling Uke and throwing him backward.
Okay, this is the uh, um, story about Koda Ore and Uchi Kodaki, and I want to show you uh, the same techniques in the other video. Give me a moment to uh, find the correct um, time code. Just a moment, it's only one second left. Okay, here we are. So here also, Tori is attacking. Okay, is pulling forward and attacking with hip throw. And here, have the same situation, same throw, breaking balance to the rear, finally go down on the knee. And here we are. And again, the same Chikudaki. Okay, it's really important uh, that uh, you um, always keep in mind that uh, Tori has to attack with uh, Koshinage and uh, Uke is just countering. Okay, um, then we can uh, proceed to the next technique. The next techniques are uh, Tani Toshi and Kuruma Daoshi. Let's watch them first. These are the techniques. Um, first, I want to explain uh, what happens, uh, what's the story about Tani Otoshi. Um, tani means valley, Otoshi, otoshi comes from uh, Otosu, that means uh, dropping, so it's a valley drop, but it's not the uh, technique we know from uh, Nagawaza. Um, the idea is uh, Uke is standing behind Tori and pushing Tori into an imagination in, in, in imaginative valley forward so um okay is behind tori pushing tori forwards uh tori bends in the waist like uh kata Oshi in uh, juno kata grabs uh okay's uh, wrist or hand pushes forward and down um, then uh, Tori has to uh, react, of course, but uh, here you can see the original intention. So you see the left arm of uh, Uke is, uh, is controlling uh, Tori's hip. And in this situation, um, Uke is rolling in Makikumi style and uh, tries to throw um, Tori is rolling in Makikumi style and tries to throw Uke yeah, into, the, into the valley. That's the idea of attack and first defense. Now, let's watch it on the other video. Um, Uke 
is making a step forward with his left foot and at the same time uh, holds his uh, left hand on the belt of uh, Tori and with the right hand pushes Tori's shoulder forward. Tori bends and uh, Uke's hand slips over the shoulder. Tori slips over the shoulder and Tori pulls forward and down this direction. Yeah. And forces Uke to make a step forward. Now you can also see the control with the, with the left hand. So from this situation, um, Tori pulls down and this causes a reaction of Uke uh, in the opposite direction. Then Tori uses Uke's reaction and breaks Uke's balance to the rear. Uke tries to uh, escape by one or two steps, but Tori follows, controls, and yeah, throws in the same manner as he did before in, um, in uh, Uchikudaki. And again, Tori is on the ground before Uke hits the mat. And of course, spreading the, the knee to indicate that it should be an attack against Tori's back. Yeah, this is um, Tanya Toshi. And now, Kurumara Oshi. Kurumara Oshi is uh, the same attack we uh, have in uh, Juno Kata, Kata Mabashi, but uh, the, the difference is that they're not standing in front of each other, uh, but a little bit side by side. So, um, Uke's right foot is behind Tori's left foot. Yeah. So Uke takes Tori's shoulders from behind, pulls with his left hand, pushes with his right hand, right hand. And you see Tori's reaction with his left foot, steps to the side of Uke's uh, foot, brings all four feet in line and with his right hand and on the other side with his left hand similar uh, in a similar style you can see it hooks in the armpit and lifts up okay and breaks his balance by sacrificing himself and throws with Wakari. So from here, maybe can better see uh, the position. Um, this position is called Dai no Ji. Uh, Ji means uh, sign, uh, Chinese uh, sign, uh, you know, kanji, it's uh, writing. And Dai means big. So um, Tori is in the similar position as uh, the word big or dai in Japanese is written. Uh, this is with uh, spread arms, hands are about in um, head level and uh, the uh, feet, all, uh, the legs also spread apart. Uh, this is a very symmetric um, uh, position, but the hands should not touch the mat. This position, dai no ji, um, yeah, it's, it's always the final position when you do um, the background techniques. Okay, then we can uh, proceed to the next uh, techniques. The next techniques are Shikuro Gaeshi and uh, Shikuro Dori and Shikuro Gaeshi. Let's watch it first. Mm 
Shikuro Gaeshi, maybe the most spectacular technique of Fushiki no Kata. Here we are. Okay. Let's see the other video, Tori and Uke approach each other, standing in the middle of the guru. And now Uke tries to grab the belt of Tori. Tori must move his hip back and from outside grabs Uke's wrist and pulls down and sideways. Same time, he pushes against Uke's chin with his left hand and twists Uke's chin sideways to um, force him to turn around. At the same time, lifts the chin a little bit up so that uh, Uke's balance is broken to the rear. And in this situation, when balance is broken, uh, Tori takes hold on uh, both shoulders of Uke, goes down on his left knee and pulls Uke backwards and throws him. This is a very, very hard throw, maybe one of the hardest throws in Fushiki no Kata. Next comes Shikuro Higaeshi. So this time, Uke takes the grip in the belt. Uke turns around and pulls strongly Tori forward against his hip. Tori reacts by grabbing the chin and the side of the head and pushes the head sideways. And then twists the chin. So this is the action. One, two, in order to break the, uh, the neck of Uke. So Uke defends and tries to stand up again and strongly, strongly pushes Tori's belt downwards with his uh, left hand. This is a key point. And when Uke is pushing down, Tori moves a little bit to the rear. Both hands are on the shoulders of Uke. And from this situation, Tori slides forward and kicks with his upper thigh against the uh, thigh of Uke and throws him down. Tori is landing in a sitting position and Uke at his side again. So we have to the side twisting Uke's reaction, pushing down the belt, Tori turning a little bit to the side, creating some space to break the balance to the rear, and now sliding and jumping forward into the sitting position. I prepared some additional pictures. So uh, where does the name uh, come from? Shikoro. Um, here you can see Daigo Sensei and they were explaining Koshiki no Kata using uh, the big yoroi, the armor. And uh, this is the helmet and Shikoro is uh, the part of the helmet which protects the neck. So, and um, the um, idea of this technique originally was 
to uh, take uh, to hold uh, take a grip on the shikoro on the neck protection of the helmet and to to twist it and uh, of course uh, when you take the um, the neck protection uh, you have a, a longer lever uh, so um, it's more effective than just uh, twisting the chin a very 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 dangerous uh, technique to kill uh, somebody yes and i uh, also have some examples uh, for um, uh, good uh, very good um shikuro gaeshi the first row um, is uh, together with my friend and colleague Patrick Higo when we did the Kurokan testing and uh, this was sensational how he uh, managed to, to throw me. If you watch this, look at the perfect position in the air and uh, close contact and really perfect Shikuro uh, The second example is from uh, the two students of Daigo Sensei from the Kurin Kai, and I've chosen it because here you can see very, very clearly um, how the, um, how Uka pushes down Tori's belt with his left hand. Ah, that's um, the uh, Koshiki uh, Shikuro Dori and Shikuro Gaeshi, and now we can proceed with the final two techniques of the um, Omoti series, Yudachi and Takitoshi. Again, you see the Vakare and the Dino tree position. Okay, the first thing uh, to, uh, to learn is how to grab the um, lapels of, uh, of Uke. Uh, as you can see in the first picture, uh, Uke takes uh, grip on both lapels and uh, pulls them down. And here you see the index finger uh, is not gripping the lapel, but it, the index finger is in the middle between the lapels. And with this index finger, he, um, Tori can attack Uke um, and on his uh, uh, above his so, uh, solar plexus, um, which is a uh, very very effective uh, about the, uh, the ribs. Um, very very uh, dangerous points to uh, to attack because it's uh, it's very soft. It's a uh, uh, not really a shimmer vaza, but uh, but close to it. Uh, and uh, Uke's reaction is that uh, pushes pushes uh, uh, Uke uh, totally back, grabs around the waist. You can see here for his hand, and he's trying to attack Uke with uh, a kind of uh, yeah, with, with Koshinagi kind of Ukigoshi or something. Like that. This is the important point, and uh, um, yeah, here you see um, the response of uh, Tori. Here you, the pushing action and moving the feet, grabbing around the waist, and Tori waits until. Okay, has uh, set his foot forward. This is this is important. Then he controls the right arm under his armpit, 
And as you can see here, the Tori's balance is broken. Uke goes down on the knee and you can easily throw um, Uke. So let's watch it. And uh, the other video. So first of all, Tori takes the grip. Uh, of course, you cannot see it. But, uh, now it's very close control. Okay, pushes the elbow, moves forward. Now the attack. You see that Tori waits. Tori waits until Uke has set his foot on the ground. This is where you have to look. And then moves back and uses all his weight to turn around Uke and throw him. It's not, it's not Uke Yatoshi, like Uke Yatoshi Nagano Kata. Yeah, it's a twisting movement. Yeah, after that, they change sides and again the same start controlling the throat. Okay, again pushes with his left hand forward, makes a step with his right. And previously in uh, Yudachi, um, Uke tried to um, stick his arm under uh, Tori's armpit. This time he tries to grab over the shoulder, over the upper arm and the shoulder. Yeah, and tries to um, attack with the Koshinage. And a little bit similar to Uranage, Tori pulls Uke, holds him tight, but doesn't lift him up, but instead twists around and breaks Uke's balance to the rear, like he did several times before. And here, story repeats again. So here's the defense of Uke, Tori still pushing strongly with his hand. So here comes the attack against the throat. Here is the close control. And also Tori's thigh is blocking Uke's thigh. This is very important. In uh, this situation, Uke has no other chance uh, than uh, standing up again to try to um, regain his uh, balance. Yeah. And again, Tori pushes with the shoulder against Uke's shoulder blade, turns around and yeah, now it goes on to Vakari again. Yeah, this was the final technique of the Buddha. And now let's uh, proceed. Uh, the final technique of Omote, sorry. Now let's uh, proceed with Ura, all seven techniques and the final Reho. Uh, this is only a short sequence of maybe one and a half uh, minutes. So we watch all seven Ura techniques. Buddha is done a little bit faster than uh, Omote.
Now seven second is finished. Both return to their original starting positions. Closing step down on the knee. They will to each other, standing up, turning around, classical, normal way to showman, and then stepping off the mat, doing a final go. Okay, this was the Ura. Let's watch. and explain the techniques. So here we are. It starts uh, very similar to um, uh, Tai and Gimenucci. Um So Uka holds Uka's belt and swings out the foot, attacks, but Tori with his left hand pushes down Tori's, with his right hand, Tori with his right hand pushes down Uka's left hand down and forward and sticks his left arm under Uka's armpit. So here you can see it. Pushing down and uh, Uka's left arm and sticking right arm under the armpit. Then trying to break balance to the rear. Same we did in uh, uh, Thai and Jiminucci. Trying to make a final throw. Uke defends. Now Tori must pull Uke forward. This is important. Here comes the Kizushi. And when uh, Uka has uh, stepped forward with his left foot to defend, then Tori makes a spiral movement down. And with his, uh, with his right hand pushing this way, and with his left hand lifting this way. Of course, I can only indicate the direction. Um, of course, uh, Tori is falling down, so it's uh, not exactly where the arrows were. So you can throw. Okay, next is attack against both shoulders. Okay, tries to push Tori down on both shoulders. So Tori makes a step to the side of Uke, so feet are in line. This is important. And then with his uh, both hands from underneath, pushes uh, Uke's hands up. So Uke's hands have only little or no contact with, uh, with the shoulders. So there's no effective uh, push against the shoulders possible in this situation. And Tori can throw Uke in Vakari. Now another attack with uh, only one hand, a single hand attack, also against the shoulder Tori deflects. Here comes Kuzushi in this direction. Here comes pushing action upwards. And with a twisting movement, Tori throws Uka over his side. Now Tori takes the initiative and makes an attack against Uka's face, just just with his fingers up, 
against the face. So Uke is forced to react. And when Uke um, recovers its balance, tries to uh, recover his balance, then Tori steps to the side of Uke and left hand on the uh, right shoulder, right hand on the lapel, and throws Uke. Again with the Sutimi Vaza. Now, um, Uke tries to stab Tori in the uh, Hara. Tori moves back. Uh, this is, the distance is a little bit too far, as you can see. But um, Uke is uh, leaning a little bit too far forward. And Tori takes the initiative and throws Uke forward, just making use of the movement and the situation. Yeah. Next is attacking from behind. Uke grabs Tori over the upper arms. Tori swings his arms sideways out, goes down on his right knee and throws in the style of Siro Toshi. And when uh, Uke stands up, Tori attacks to the face with both hands. Again, Uke is leaning back. When Uke comes forward again, moves forward again. When Tori grips with both hands, Uke's lapel steps to the side of Uke and sacrifices himself for another so these are in uh, short the uh, Uda techniques. So just to give you another idea, maybe you want to, to watch it again uh, from the other uh, demonstration, please uh, recap what I've uh, said and try to uh, find the points. Pushing back foot, defense, pulling up, spiraling down, push against the shoulders, one arm attack against the shoulder. Using the situation when uh, Tori recovers his balance. Now the Toshi like throw and finally Ivanami is the name the technique. Okay. These are in brief, not so detailed as uh, one could discuss it in brief, the technical aspects of Kushiki no Kata, how it is explained and uh, taught today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, of course, you can uh, watch it again on the YouTube uh, channel of EJU. It uh, will be uh, online for a while, I guess, maybe forever. Uh, if you're interested, uh, also watch the history and the theory and uh, compare both and um, maybe you try to find uh, the, mm, the details of the, the core principles that I explained two days ago. Also in uh, these demonstrations, there are other very interesting um, in demonstrations and, and videos uh, on YouTube, for example. Um, and uh, it's also uh, very uh, interesting to, uh, to watch the 
summer course, the Kurokan summer course, explanations of uh, Koshiki no Kata, you will find a lot of details um, about this fascinating Kata. Um, beside, um, uh, Ula and myself are more um, well known uh, for uh, Juno Kata. We both agree that our real, our real number one Kata is Koshiki no Kata. We love it. We simply love it, and it's uh, fascinating stuff. And I can only recommend everybody uh, to to study it carefully. Yes, that's it for today. Um, I say goodbye. Please stay safe and uh, have fun for the future. Thank you very much.